All right, let's take a live look outside. The sun is shining on this Friday. The temperature is not too bad, but definitely dipping down a little bit out there. Yes, and it's signaling a possibly a nice weekend. At least we're hoping so. Yeah, we're trending drier, but cooler. And honestly, I'll take the cooler if it means drier, because I know a lot of people have holiday plans. Yes. Halloween snuck up on me this year. I am not prepared. I don't know about you two, <laughs> but I definitely need to go shopping, maybe get some candy, the full size bars, because I don't want to be that household. <laughs> um, but yes, it is going to be a good weekend for it yeah. for any outdoor activities. I know we have some around the area. And so just bundle up. That's my only advice. And maybe have that rain gear. On standby, especially as we start to go into Sunday. For right now, though, we're dry. Temperature is looking to bottom out in the 40s overnight, right around where we're supposed to be for this time of year. A few of us warmer than others as we look towards well, the metro, 41 in Baltimore, 42 in Rock Hall. As we move further to the west, we'll see the 30s move in and get comfortable. So cloud coverage will be lingering as we go into the overnight hours, but it will scoot on out right before sunrise. And so we will get some sunshine for your Saturday. Unfortunately, that's not doing too much to warm us up, but we will get that sunshine and cling on to it because we're not going to get a whole lot as we go into next week or really even your Sunday. So breaking that down, this is as we go into Saturday evening, looking perfect for any of those trick-or-treaters. Maybe just have a jacket, maybe Spider-Man or Batman plus a jacket, not a bad idea. We are tracking some north winds that will keep it cooler and on the cooler side of things as we trail into the evening. We'll eventually see some rain start to move in for the evening hours of your Saturday overnight into your Sunday. This acts as a precursor. Overall, not threatening. We're still staying dry for the majority of your Sunday, but we will see this cloud coverage linger and spill over into your Monday. So when do we actually expect this rain? Well, on Halloween proper, we're talking about the day of noticing some isolated drizzles and showers trailing us throughout the day, but at least we're warm. We're noticing a warm front pushing through. That's helping to boost our temperatures. We'll see the 70s, some mild winds kicking in, 5 to 10 miles per hour overall, and enjoy it because we are not talking about the 70s for the rest of the next seven days. So a little bit chilly for your Saturday, noticing the lower 60s, the middle 60s by Sunday into the 70s for Monday. And then we really start to nose drive as we go into the next half of next week as we track the lower 60s moving back in and the 40s overnight. You know what, the low 60s, mid 60s, I'll take that for the yeah. first week of November. That's fine. And yeah, small chance of rain on Halloween. So, small you chance. know, yes, we're all prepare. Right.